Hello and welcome back to Explain 11 everybody and today we're in the North Island of New Zealand more specifically NZKO which is Kaikoi and what we're going to do today is put together all the things we've been working on over the last few weeks more specifically we are going to complete an FS economy flight in the Piper Navajo from right here NZKO and Kaikoi to NZ. NE, which is the North Shore Aerodrome, uh, which is about, I think it's about 80 nautical miles south of here. So let's jump into the cockpit and let's bring up our good old X checklist plugin, open checklist, and let's get this puppy started. Okay, so next, first thing we need to do is remove the static elements. We can do that nice and easily by using this little easy uh, widget plugin thing down here. Uh, then we need to refuel as necessary. We've got 75% fuel in there, so that's more than enough. Close all the doors. There we go. Easy as that. They close. Tick that one off. Okay. So what we would usually do here, turn on the master switches and the avionics so we can file our flight plan. Don't need to do that this time. So we'll go ahead and uh, just forget about that. All switches are off. Our park brake is engaged. Mixture is on idle, cut off, and master switches. That's the next thing we need to do. Just right down here. One. Oh, sometimes I do that. In fact, a lot I do that. Uh, our fuel tank selectors are both inboard. There goes our fuel selectors down there. They're looking good. Fuel, uh, sorry, flaps are up. And position light we need to put in recognition. There we go. On to the next uh, before engine start checklist. Cow flaps are open. Landing gears are down. Three green enunciated tests. That's right here, everybody. Boom. Done. Fuel quantity, yes I've checked that. Autopilot is off. Alternate air is pushed. Rudder trim at centre. Roll trim centre. Let's just adjust our trim right there as we get on to the engine startup. We want to get our engine levers to full rich. Now the best thing to do is go like this so you can grab them and push them right up. Because they can be a little bit tricky these ones I find. Get up there. Ooh, there we go. Prop levers are high RPM. Throttle levers, let's move those up to about a third. Wait for the green, we got it. Our anti-collision light is on. Clear zone, we verify that. Right, left fuel pump, right up here everybody. Bang. Fuel pressure should be 34 PSI. There it is right there, lovely. Uh, left magnetos, let's throw them on. Let's push the engine starter. And our engine has started. Right, what we're looking for here is our RPM gauge between 13 and 1700 it's a little bit high let's pull it back until it's in the green there it is manifold pressure 23 to 27 is good okay left alternator now that's down here everybody i think i've got a switch there we go bang that forward just like that volts indicator that is over here everybody and it will be reading down in the green that is great right left fuel pump turn it off Boom, just like that. Oil pressure should be 60 to 90. Uh, right over in here. Let's just check it. Uh, here it is. Oil is between 60 and 90. Oil temperature will wait for it to get up to 100 degrees. And here it is here. It's getting very close and boom, just like that, it clicked off. Okay, let's start up the right engine. Repeating the process. Right fuel pump goes on. Fuel pressure should be 34 PSI. There it is over there, perfect. Right magnetos, get them on, boom, boom. And engine starter, push to the right. And there it is. Okay, and we should get the same sort of scenario as before. Both go green. Right alternator now needs to go forward. Here it is. We put it forward, it goes to green. Fuel pump goes off. Oil uh, pressure is good, oops. Let's not start up our GPS just yet. And we just need to wait for that oil temperature over this side here. This is the gauge right here. Just wait for that to get up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's get back into the next part of the checklist. Boom. Lighting temperature is fine. Let's get that throttle back down to 1000 RPM. There it is right there. We're 24 to 28, it's gone green, so it must be good. It's, there it is, amperes is positive, great. Avionics master switch is on, let's turn it on. Boom, just like that. Okay, GPS, right, I'll start that up and I'll be back in a second. 
Okay, we have got our GPS set up and we're in the GTN 750 which actually integrates into the uh, Piper Navajo, the Carinado Piper Navajo um, panel quite nicely. And here we go, we've got an 83 nautical mile trip from up here in Kaikoui. The map's upside down by the way, we're actually south, we're heading in a southerly direction. Uh, we're going to be flying at just 6,000 feet, um, 83 nautical miles, we're good to go. It's a great little add on this one. We've got ourselves set to Unicom and uh, that is all good. So we'll just get rid of the GPS and give that a tick. Weather radar on, transponder, dial and standby. Yes, it's on 1200. We're going to fly there far if we can. Altimeter, set Q&H. Right, let's just get to the map right here everybody and check out Kai Koei. Boom. Hold on. Let's actually get Kai Koei. And 29092, that will be set on that automatically I would say. Yes, because if you move this, it goes a long way. So we're somewhere in between there. Taxi light. Let's turn that on right here. Throttle to 800 RPM. There it is. And park brake uh, okay, obviously this is the taxi checklist we're on right here. Now, we're actually sitting at the um, at the end of runway 17, actually in the position we need to be in. So I'll just do a, a little movement here just to get through this checklist. I'll be back with you very soon. Okay, we got to the uh, position that we need to be in. We got rid of that checklist page and let's go through the before takeoff and that hold, hold, holding point checklist. So, all windows are closed, seat belt switch is going to be on, here we go, no smoking, on, inboard for the fuel, flaps at 15, so let's just go ahead and do that, I've just used the button on my joystick, autopilot is off, surface the ice is off, pito as required, um, we are in the winter over here, so let's go ahead and throw our pito and uh, our windshield heat on, heading bug indicator let's just set that to runway heading uh, which is one seven uh, we'll get that around here it was not wanting to move right now everybody so let's go the opposite direction why not we just go with the flow we're pointing straight down the runway so this makes it nice and easy boom easy as that in engine instruments all in the green looking good feeling great Boom. Okay, we're now going to do a run up. So I'll go ahead and do the run up and I will join you back very soon when we're ready to take off. Okay, everybody, the run up has been completed. So we're going to go up here and start our flight. There we go. It is away for FS economy. Don't forget to do that. Uh, transponder needs to be set to alt. So we'll go ahead and put that on alt. Uh, taxi light switch. Let's turn that off. It is on, turn it off, uh, landing light switch to on, fuel pump switches to on for takeoff, parking brake will need to be released. Let's get our parking brake off and let's put our yoke back in position. Uh, and let's alone, align I should say. There we go. Okay, so we've got to put our parking brake back on just to satisfy the checklist, so we'll do that. Boom. Let's the parking, ta take the parking brake off there we go a throttle to 45.5 which is to the red part of the dial right there let's try to keep this thing straight and there we go we're right on the money right here it's a pretty bumpy runway right here once we get to 83 knots we are looking to rotate 83 rotate enjoy your flight thank you Let's get that landing gear up. Flaps, let's get those up. Landing light can go off, but not yet. Do not pass a red line is what it's saying for the climb. So let's just try to control that throttle as we can. That is nice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just engage the autopilot right here. Uh, turn it on. Put on our, not our altitude everybody, that is the wrong one. I just wanted the autopilot on. And we're just going to try to maintain this. Now I'm going to 
increased nav and so we follow our GPS right here okay it was a little bit hairy right there everybody we're still below the red line over there so that is fine everything's looking completely fine at this point let's just wait to level off we can probably oh we're actually climbing that out at a decent uh, clip right here our vertical speed is nearly 2,000 feet per minute which is uh, quite a lot actually how's our speed our speed is fine now one thing that's going to happen on this flight everybody is at the moment we're in standard x-plane scenery that's what you can see down below there that's just the stock standard scenery that comes with uh, with the program but what we'll do is as we get closer to the Auckland area which we're going to be flying into we're going to actually switch over to, the, to some photorealistic ortho for XP scenery so once I get to that I will show you so I'm actually going to keep my landing light on until we get to cruise and we should probably really even keep it on considering we're under 10,000 feet um, but it's telling me to turn it off I might just tick that anyway right now manually okay let's get our position light on then it's telling us to do that uh, position light on there we go right there fuel pumps can go off now and here we go we're into the climb okay I stuffed that up a bit didn't I everybody ha okay down to 39 which is where we were anyway by accident and we do need to get that RPM down to 2400 well these are trick for young players everybody you should really pay attention to what you are doing that's good it's a bit of a learning exercise for all of us um, I have only put the checklist through to starting this thing up so I made a bit of an error right there to be fair how's the speed looking it's fine okay so the max engine temperature uh, this is it over here sorry the red line is up here actually I can continue to lean it out it's fine at the moment oxygen above 10,000 feet on we're not going to do that okay right so uh, cal flaps as required it's fine all temperature is completely fine so we don't need to do anything there altimeter is fine it's on 2992 both our fuel uh, selectors are inboard boom how we're looking we're actually climbed way too high everybody so much going on here so what we're going to do is we're going to change uh, altitude to 8,000 feet instead of 6,000 feet that is an absolute shocker but I'm going to leave it in just to show you that things when they get busy they can go a bit wrong that's fine that's fine that is good too wow okay so we really mucked that up it would be fair to say everybody let's just try to get this hold G to get this up it's fine let's get rid of that let's look at our if we go to menu and we go to oh hold on back we go to our flight plan 6,000 feet let's just amend that to 8,000 feet so it's correct enter VNAV yes boom back let's go to the map okay now it is correct didn't really matter too much although you really want to maintain your altitude particularly if you're flying in a controlled airspace environment but there we go ladies and gentlemen we are now at our cruise not the cruise that we expected to be fair let's get rid of all those and we're flying along quite nicely but yeah a big lesson there make sure you pay attention to what you are doing Okay everybody, here we are at our cruise altitude of 8,000 feet as we were before and here goes just a little handy thing that X checklist does for us and we're at 23 RPM here at the moment as you can see and it tells us we should be 31.5 on a manifold pressure so that's where I am right now so it tells you exactly where you should be depending on your RPM uh, it's a nice little additional feature of X checklist that you can uh, get involved with if you download that plugin so yeah, really really handy okay welcome back everybody and we're still in the cruise right here but I just thought I'd show you this here you can see us just about to go into an area that I've got ortho for XP the photorealistic scenery downloaded and if you have a look you can sort of see the line there because that's where the square starts up over here 
but it gives you a really good appreciation of the difference between photorealistic scenery and the default X-plane scenery. So if we check it out right here, look at this, it's very obvious right here. You've just got pretty generic sort of looking scenery down this line and as we get in here you've got the actual scenery from the particular area which is in the sort of northern part of New Zealand. So some really good definition there of some of these mountains or hills. And the valleys get through there, some of the roading and uh, some of the rural aspects right there. So yeah, that gives you a very, very good appreciation of the difference that Ortho for XP can make to your setup. And it, remember, it's an absolutely free add-on. Highly recommend it. Look at that. The scenery is much, much better. Obviously, when this satellite picture was taken, there was some cloud. Adds a bit of realism to it. So there you go, right there, everybody. Ortho for XP. Go and check it out. It looks fantastic. Welcome back everybody and we're going to set up for a really early descent here just so we don't get caught out like we did when we were climbing. And so here goes the descent checklist right here. So what they say is a thousand feet per minute, that's nice and easy. Uh, descent speed of around about 145 knots, uh, throttles 24.5 inches and RPM 23. And do not exceed the red line which is over here on the manifold pressure. I oh, know that's the engine temperature, sorry. Manifold pressure right here. Okay, so let's get that throttle back. 24.5 we're already at 2300 rpm and that is looking good so what we can do because we're on autopilot i'm just going to bring this here and we can take it off altitude and you can just use this little down button right here and we're watching the vertical speed indicator right here it's settled there we'll put another couple of notches on and we'll just work down quite nicely and we'll just adjust our what we're doing right here just to be around a thousand there we go that's nice looking good let's just put our we didn't lean it at much at all really once again it's a bit tricky get across here get it right up in there there we go we don't need to worry about oxygen cal flow flaps not required they are both inboard the uh, fuel is altimeter is completely fine pito is great and engine instruments Check OK. So there we go. We will come back. There we go. We're set up nicely here for our descent. 1,000 feet per minute. Everything's looking good. 2,300, 24.5 on the manifold. I'll catch you once we're uh, coming in for that final approach into North Shore Aerodrome in the north of Auckland. We're getting close to turning onto our final heading for landing, and we're just coming across the east coast of the North Island. This is uh, Oriwa name of the town right in here a lot of development going on over in this area here the aerodrome just over in this area so we'll make our turn and we're going to get into it and here we are we're on our short final approach everybody time to get rid of the autopilot we'll get rid of that right there we don't need this landing checklist anymore so we're going to hand fly it right now aiming for that 95 is our final approach speed now the the thing with this particular runway is it's very skinny. There's not a lot of room for aero right here. It's a little bit fast, that's okay. That's not a problem at all. I'd rather just be a little bit fast. A little bit slow could be a problem. As we come in now, looking good a little bit to the right here. A little bit to the left, I mean. Man, get it right, mate. Coming in, we'll start to pull back. Oh no! You suck, you jackass! Not good! Unbelievably bad landing right there. Came in way too shallow. That was a really interesting flight, there's no doubt about it. Made a heap of mistakes. Uh, but that's all part of the learning process. That's a good thing about flight simming, is if, if you get it wrong, you still can walk away. Okay, the shutdown and secure checklist. Here we go, mixture to idle cutoff. Easy as this. Boom. Thank you. Okay, magnetos off.
There we go, that helps. Alternator switch off down here. Boom, boom. Um, cow flaps closed, that's fine. Seat belt switch, let's turn that off, everybody. No smoking is off. All switches off. Master switch off. Oh, set static elements. Boom. Okay, and here goes our flight sim economy um, last log. And as you can see, 1755 was our income. Rental cost 220. There goes the additional um, ground crew fees plus the distance bonus for we took it away from home, or which gave us a negative. So we earned a thousand bucks to ourselves, 281 to the group. Actually, not too bad at all. Wow, now that was an adventure. <laughs> A bit of a shocker at times there, ladies and gentlemen. But we got there in the end. I want to say a huge thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, take it easy.